numbers. Britannica Discovery Library. Everybody uses numbers every day. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Count to ten. Point to each number on the page as you say it. Numbers tell us many things we need to know. Diego is six years old. He has got two parents and two brothers. There are five people in Diego's family. One brother is older than Diego. Diego's other brother is younger than Diego. Diego started out with three pets. His pets were a dog, a cat, and a bird. Diego's cat gave birth to five kittens. Now Diego has got eight pets. Count all the brothers in Diego's family, including Diego. How many brothers are there altogether? Count Diego's cat and her kittens. How many cats are there altogether? Let's count things in the pictures. One. One bird sits on a wire. One boy watches the bird on the wire. One hat flies through the air in the wind. One mom sits on a park bench with a baby. Two. Two birds sit on the wire. Two girls fly kites on the grass. Two dogs sniff something under a tree. Two kites get tangled up in the air. Which kite is big? Which is small? Three. Three birds sit on the wire. Three kids do cartwheels across the grass. Three old ladies sit on the park bench. Three squirrels scurry up a tree trunk. How many people are wearing purple? Which squirrel is faster than the others? Four. Four birds sit on the wire. Four people have a picnic on the grass. Four peacocks watch from the branches of four different trees. Four big bugs. Crawl over a picnic basket. How many bugs are on the picnic basket's handle? How many apples do you see? Five. Five birds sit on the wire. Five kids kick a football. Five bikes sit under a tree. Five kids eat ice creams. 
How many kids are wearing blue shirts? Are more kids eating chocolate ice cream or strawberry ice cream? How many bikes are green? How many bikes are red? Six. Six birds sit on the wire. Six cats take over the park bench. Six flowers grow in the grass. Six puffy clouds move across the sky. Point to each cat from smallest to biggest. How many flowers have got four or five petals? Seven. Seven birds sit on the wire. Seven kids play a game of hide and seek. Seven backpacks sit on the bench. Seven big leaves spin in the breeze. How many leaves have got five points? Eight. Eight birds sit on the wire. Eight balloons escape into the sky. Eight barefoot kids race through the park. Eight toy boats bob in the pond. How many boats have got sails? Point to the three boats that are close together. Nine. Nine birds get wet on the wire. Nine bright umbrellas keep the raindrops off. Nine fish leap in the pond. Nine puddles grow big in the rain. How many umbrellas are just one colour? How many umbrellas are more than one colour? Which puddle looks the biggest? Ten. Ten birds are ready to fly home to their nests for the night. Ten funny dogs run wild through the trees. Ten kids hurry home for tea. Ten lights go on in ten windows across from the park. It's getting dark. How many children are wearing long sleeves? How many are wearing short sleeves? Count the windows that are all lit up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Try counting the birds backwards. 
Count the birds from ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Zero means none. No more birds left on the wire. Nobody sitting on the bench. Not one person left in the park. Zero people. Zero birds. The park is empty for the night. Look at these funny pictures. Count the number of feet. Count the number of shoes. Is there a shoe for every foot? Yes, there are four little feet and four silly shoes. The number of feet is the same as the number of shoes. Which shoes are big? Which shoes are little? Count the number of dogs. Now count the number of kennels. Does each dog have a kennel? Yes, the number of dogs is the same as the number of kennels. Each dog has got a kennel. How many dogs are fat? How many dogs are skinny? Which kennel is the tallest? Count the number of big, hungry mouths. Count the number of donuts on the plate. Are the numbers the same? Are there as many donuts as there are hungry mouths to eat them? Yes, there is one donut for every hungry mouth. The number of donuts is the same as the number of big, hungry mouths. Yum. How many donuts can you count on these two pages? Some monkeys are having a party. How many monkeys can you count at the party? Six monkeys have come to the party. How many red monkeys are at the party? How many brown monkeys are at the party? There are four red monkeys at the party. There are two brown monkeys at the party. The number of red monkeys at the party is more than the number of brown monkeys at the party. How many party hats can you find in the trees? There are only five party hats in the trees. The number of monkeys is more than the number of party hats. One monkey will not have a party hat. If one monkey leaves the party, there will be one hat for every monkey at the party. This is one way to make the number of monkeys the same as the number of hats. How many hats are hanging upside down? Can you think of another way to make the numbers the same?
But wait! What is that on the ground? One more party hat. Now all six monkeys have got party hats to wear. Adding a hat is another way to make the number of monkeys the same as the number of hats. How many party hats have got polka dots? How many hats are pointed? The baboon band is playing tonight at the monkey's party. Count the number of baboons in the band. Now count the number of musical instruments that you see. There are three baboons in the baboon band. There are four musical instruments. The number of baboons is less than the number of musical instruments. Which baboon looks the largest? Which looks the smallest? How many drums can you count? How many instruments have got strings? Three baboons. Four musical instruments. What is one way to make the number of baboons the same as the number of musical instruments? Bring in another baboon to play in the band. This is one way to make the numbers the same. Now the number of band members is the same as the number of musical instruments. Or take away one of the instruments. This is another way to make the number of band members the same as the number of instruments. How many baboons are sitting down? How many monkeys are wearing hats? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A jumping bug wants to cross the stream. She can jump two stones at a time. She starts at the edge of the stream. What number stone will she land on first? The jumping bug jumped two stones. So she will land on stone number two. The jumping bug is sitting on stone number four. If she jumps two more times, what number stone will she be on? This time, she will land on stone number eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make your finger jump from stone to stone like the bug jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A bright green frog 
can jump the stones three at a time. He is sitting on stone number two. If he makes one jump, what number stone will he land on? The frog jumps three stones. He will land on stone number five. If the frog jumps forward again, which number stone will he land on next? If the frog is sitting on stone number seven and he jumps back two times, what number stone will he land on? He will land on stone number one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make your finger jump from stone to stone like the frog jumps. Jen is at the beach looking for seashells. She already has got one big pink seashell. She finds another. It is a striped seashell. One pink seashell plus one striped seashell makes two seashells. Jen has got two seashells. We can add two numbers together with signs that look like these. One plus one equals two. Plus means add or join together. It is called a plus sign. Equals means is the same as. It is called an equal sign. Jen's brother Liam is looking for seashells too. He finds one seashell buried in the sand. If Jen and Liam put their seashells together, how many seashells will they have? Jen's two seashells plus Liam's one seashell equals three seashells altogether. We can write this in two ways. Two plus one equals three. Or one plus two equals three. Adding one plus two is the same as adding two plus one. They both equal three. Kevin has got five jelly worms lying on the table. Kevin gives three jelly worms to his friend Michiko. How many jelly worms has Kevin got left? Five jelly worms take away three jelly worms equals two jelly worms. Kevin has got two jelly worms and Michiko has got three. We can subtract or take away one number from another with signs that look like these. Five minus three equals two. Minus means subtract or take away. It is called a minus sign. Equals means is the same as. This is the equal sign again. If Kevin keeps three jelly worms for himself, how many will Michiko get? If you have got trouble subtracting, use your hand to cover up three of the jelly worms on the other page. Then count the jelly worms that are left. 
we use numbers to count things. With numbers, we add and subtract. Numbers also help us talk about differences we see. Sometimes, we need to know if things are the same or different. This is called comparing. We compare one thing with another to see if they are alike or different. One way to compare is by counting. Here are two kinds of birds. The toucans are big birds and the finches are small birds. Count the number of toucans. Count the number of finches. Now compare the numbers. Are there more toucans or more finches? There are two toucans. There are four finches. The group of finches is bigger than the group of toucans. If you said there were more finches than toucans, you were right. Sometimes we do not have to count to compare different things. Sometimes we can just look at things and see their differences. We can tell the difference between big and small, tall and short, fast and slow. We know if something is close to us or far away. Sometimes we can also tell differences in age, even without numbers. We can tell these things just by looking. We can also tell by using numbers if we want to. Which horse is running the fastest? Which horse is slowest? Which person watching the race is far away? Which person looks the oldest? Which looks the youngest? Let's count and compare. Jan has got some stones arranged in a row. Katia has got all her stones in a circle. Count each one's stones. They have both got the same number of stones. Each one has got seven stones. Katia gives two of her stones to Jan. Who has got more stones now? How many stones has Jan got? How many stones has Katia got? Maria is seven years old. Her brother Marco is nine years old. They are two years apart. Maria's cousin Sarah is six years old. Maria and Sarah are one year apart. Who is the oldest of all three? Who is the youngest? How many years apart are Marco and Sarah? We count with numbers. We use numbers to talk about how old we are and how tall we are. Telephone numbers and addresses 
are made of numbers. Numbers help us tell time. They are used for many other important things too. Knowing about numbers helps us every day. Learning about numbers is so much fun too.